Welcome to the Built to Scale series, Outside Marketing, bringing you quick, actionable episodes to help move your business forward. Here's your host, Craig Severinsen. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Outside Marketing, episode 37, the show where we talk about how do you grow a thriving business without sacrificing your personal life. I'm Craig Severinsen, and today we're going to be talking about the approach to growing your business if you want to guarantee results. It's a really exciting conversation. And as always, if you're enjoying this, visit builttoscalehq.com. There you can listen to the full podcast, the long episodes with the experts. And you can also check out how I can help you build your business by getting the right foundations and systems in place to land more clients faster than you think possible. Now, uh, today we've got a really special guest. You ready for this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the camera and move a little bit so don't get uh, dizzy. We got a very special guest here, though, visiting with us. Oh, he went in his shell there. Can we see him? See our little turtle friend there? I haven't named him yet, so if you've got name suggestions, we're taking name suggestions right now for Mr. Turtle there. Now, I think it's really uh, we're gonna we're gonna call him or her. I don't I don't know uh, if it <laughs> we're gonna call him our mascot for the day because our conversation. Uh, can be compared to a turtle, can be compared to uh, the, the tortoise and the hare story, right? But uh, let me just tell you what happened today is I was on my walk exercising, and I saw him way down the, the path there. And I was like, oh, cool. It's a big old turtle. You know, it, that's one of the joys of being here in the morning is that I get to see deer. I get to see turkey. I get to see turtles. And uh, I went on my walk, and on my way back not even a couple minutes later because I just kind of walked back and forth on a, on a path and he was gone. And I was like, holy cow, where did he go? Like, I can't find him anywhere. And he was way far further down the path, kind of kind of where we're seeing him right now, like way a, a, a bit away. And I was like, man, like you think turtles being really slow, but really like they can they can book it when they want to book it. When they want to get from point A to point B, they, they really get there. And it got me thinking about how in business big pushes – don't really work, right? You've got to treat your business a lot like the tortoise and the hare. It was like steady and consistent, right? Now in business, the the growth strategy you want to use is the same thing. Like small steps lead to big results. Big pushes tend not to work. Like you'll do these big pushes. You'll be like, okay, I got to get like a million clients or I've got to do like this quarter more business than I've ever done before. And that's great. There's nothing wrong with speed and there's nothing wrong with with hard work. But really what matters is consistency, incremental improvements. Because if you do, you know, we see this all the time with like social media. So social media is a great example for a lot of stuff. Um, but social media, like you say, oh, I'm going to be everywhere. I'm going to take the very Gary Vaynerchuk approach and I'm going to be everywhere all the time. Right. So you start posting on Twitter and LinkedIn and on Facebook and on Instagram and on TikTok. And you're just you're on all the different platforms. and You're trying to use them all. Uh, to the best ability. And guess what? It's overwhelming, right? Maybe you're doing all the social media, but are you doing your sales? Are you doing your admin? Are you doing your bookkeeping, right? Like everything starts to kind of fall a step behind. And so more important than doing these huge pushes is being consistent, measuring your success and incrementally improving big steps or little steps consistently will lead to big results, incremental changes. So again, you know, I, I harp on this all the time, but really one mindset shift that really helps with this is to start thinking in terms of systems, right? How do you get your business to function in a way where like your marketing, you know, let's say social media again, let's say you, you decide social media is the way for me to grow my business. Okay, now we got to sit down and write down all the steps. How do you actually get clients or how do you actually drive results on your on your social media, what are the steps to get there? And implementing those steps, oh man, the, the bugs are attacking me here. Implementing those steps, and I also notice that the cameras uh, kind of like we're gonna we're gonna switch spots so the sun's I'm not backlit. But incremental improvements it, with your social media and being able to measure those processes or how you're gonna get the results that you want, right? Uh, you know, think about this as like exercising, right? Like if I were to say, oh man. I'm going to go on a mega diet and I'm going to eat like two calories a day. How long will that really last? How long will a diet that is extreme actually last? If you're like most people, extreme diets don't work. They don't get you where you want to go, 
right? Instead, a lifestyle change that is done every day that you can live with is how you're going to lose weight and get in shape over time. And now the hard part about that is that we, when we do extreme things, and if you can do something extreme, a big push for an extended period of time, then you're likely to get results. But if it's not sustainable, then eventually it's going to crash, right? And this is the diet's a great example of this, right? Because you start this extreme diet and then you crash, you stop, and you, you gain back all the weight that you lost, right? You maybe lost five, 10 pounds in a week, but then you gain 20 pounds the two weeks after that because it's like a pendulum. You swung back versus if you, if you do it incrementally, yeah, you lose weight a lot slower. And that's the challenge is that from week one to week two, maybe it's only two pounds. And that feels like, oh, doesn't feel like enough. Doesn't feel like you're doing it. But then like week one to week 10, you've lost 10 pounds. Now, now you can sit, turn around and look back and say, oh my goodness, I lost some weight. Like I feel really good. Right. And then week one to week, like 20, week 30, 40, 50. Now we're starting to see real results. So the challenge when you do incremental improvements is that you don't always feel like you're making progress. That's the real challenge. And we've got to solve for that because if we can solve for that issue, then results become part of the process. They become part of your business. They become second nature right? So there's two tips for you that I've got to help you solve for that problem so that you can feel like you're making progress, even though you're taking small, consistent steps, because this is the approach that is guaranteed to get results. You do enough of the right things over time, and you're going to get the results that you want, okay? So, so tip number one is to step back and take a look at what you've accomplished. From, so weight loss, again, from week one to week two, not much. Even if we compare like week nine to week 10, not much, but week 10 to week one, we can look back and say, oh, I've come a long way. Maybe, maybe, and maybe the measurement is not necessarily weight loss. Maybe it's like you're thinner, or maybe it's like you've, and I'm diving way into, into fitness here. It doesn't really matter. Or maybe it's like you can run more, you can lift more, right? The measurement, get that right too, right? Um, so take in business, same thing. Take a moment to think back a month ago, two months ago, six months ago, a year ago. How far have you come in your business journey? And that will keep you motivated. Be like, oh man, yeah, this is really working. And then tip number two is to celebrate accomplishing the system, not the results. And this is why. Let's, let's, let's use sales as an example. If you use making a sale as motivation to go make more sales, it's a losing game. Because if you've ever done this before, you know exactly what I'm about to say. Because if you don't make sales, what happens? You get demoralized. You don't want to go anymore. You don't want to go make any sales anymore because it's not quote unquote working. What happens when you do make a sale? It's like, yeah, celebrate. Ooh, yeah, I made a sale. And then guess what? Five minutes later, you're like, oh, I got to make 10 more sales. I don't want to do this anymore. Right? Like because the ROI, because the result is what's motivating you, it's fleeting. It's, it's, it's like building your, your business on a sandy foundation, right? The sand is shifting constantly. Instead, celebrate executing the process or the system that you have developed around that. So instead of celebrating, oh, I made a sale today or, or I didn't make a sale today, right? You celebrate, I showed up and these are the things I had to do and I did them all. And the sales will come if I just show up every day and do these things over and over and over and over. And when the measurement becomes, did I implement the system? Did I take the steps needed? then that's when you get that consistency in your business. That's when those small steps start to compound into big momentum, right? Now, we started this off by with our little friend here, the turtle. Let's see if we can see him again. Is he down there? You can see him. Oh, he's in the sun here. Boop. So we started talking about that turtle. And I think with the tortoise and the hare, that story, we think, oh, you got to go slow, you know, be, but it's not about speed. The moral of the story of the tortoise and the hare is consistency. Because if the rabbit would have run consistently from start to end, he would have won. No questions asked. He would have won, right? The problem is, is that he stopped, he played, he ate, he napped. He was so overly confident that the turtle won because he consistently went, right? So it's actually not about speed, right? So if you can do big pushes 
but build it in so that you do it consistently over time. That's where you'll get results, and that's where you can get speed built into it. And that's also where the systems come into play, because as those systems come into play, you can cut and trim the things that don't really matter until you've got a lean, mean, step-by-step process. This is how we get results, and that's where speed can really come in. You know, my whole thing is land more clients faster than you think possible by building the right foundation and the right systems. And it's about that consistency that builds up to speed and growth and scale and all that great stuff. So moral of the story, small steps lead to big things. If you want to grow your business, you truly, really want to get, build something crazy good, something that you can leave to your kids, something that you can sell, something that makes a difference in the world, something that makes a difference to your clients. If you want a business like that, that it thrives and makes money, guess what? Small steps lead to big results, but you got to be consistent. That's what I got for you today. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and make sure you check out built to scale hq.com. Uh, until next time, take some fast folks, imperfect action. I'm going to leave this area because this turtle is not happy that I'm talking so loud. He He's in his shell hiding. So I'm going to go uh, finish my workout. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining us to check out all the Built to Scale episodes and to see how Craig can help you in your business. Go to builttoscalehq.com.